Hello, hello, how are you doing? Are you okay? Are you fine? Are you doing well? With the, I know most people are not well. With this economy, so many people are not well. Uh, life's, life is hard. The times are really hard. No, to we can go to 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 go Kenya. Hey, Motru Nemana Mary Mato, the other Kura Kavagara Raha Premia Mutua Gima Kavagara, Rema Sigimana Mary Mato Ed. The Huni Wow, the Wako Hurago, a Mutua Meneka, Nego Uena Rizimuno, or Rema Sigimana Mary Woko Witu. So life is generally hard, and when life is this hard, stress levels, Nicola was the Guru Muno. People are very much Madame Mako me irritable. You should be very careful how you relate on with people in during these hard times. Though everybody is angry, the environment is chaotic, it's a political season. Uh, everything is toxic. The environment is toxic, the economy is toxic. So you be careful about how you deal with people and above all things, remember to take care of yourself. Okay? As much as you take care of other people, please take care of yourself. Self love. Remains the greatest love of all. Na igro yama odumo the igro yama odumo the menyera kogi tagira goro ya ku tadoku ni kujizi masiamo ya siumaga kogo above everything else menyera kogi tagira goro ya ku. I always say that if you it, it's it's impossible in this life to avoid stress, and since we cannot avoid stress, I always tell people it's good to learn how to avoid the stressors. Since you cannot run away from stress, it's good to learn how to run away from the stressors. Literally, me, I literally run away from stressors. I literally keep off stressors in my life because I cannot avoid stress. So what do I do? I will avoid the stressors, the things that cause stress. They are called the stressors. People who are bringing you down, people who want to always to make you feel bad, people who cannot see, see or say anything good about you, people who are just toxic. What do I say? idea. People will be waiting for you to fall, to fall or fail in something, and they will be clapping with your enemies, and they pretending to pretend to be friends. You should run away from such people. Uh, I am okay. Jeta wanyo kafi, nyo kafi gada. Musera wa baria moita, mui wana buya baria marigo. Kaso kaka hika wai deka huno a baria mokoga. Na muda ni njuga anida ayo. Deka huno di mata gula gani mahiri mu roa kwa Na magisoka maki daseria, abu ima kehewe ihoa, asirana uma kehemu hiriga. Na wale ya nejuga anidhayo. Today I want us to have a very deep conversation. And it's about, let me just call it sibling rivalry. And at what point do you realize that there is rivalry between you and your siblings? Or as a mother... At what point do you realize that your kids are not in good terms with each other? And uh, a mother ka, a mother might be mo, mo, a mother no akora ke mnyanu ko na rivalry because most of us engineer the rivalry. Sorry to say, most of us mothers, I blame them one hundred percent. We are the greatest engineers of sibling rivalry. We are the ones who beat pitch the kids against each other. We are the ones who turn the kids against each other. We are the ones who feed. The kids with wrong information about the other kid, their sibling. So it's us, Idu and Idu, we are to blame. Most people, most kids, most siblings, I am a Taranagay, most siblings, I am a Kamamanate, or get to Yamuna Vejeraki Humokia Rumena Ruau, name my tuao. Mothers poison kids against other kids. Mothers tell bad things to the other kids about one kid that maybe has been has been maybe the black sheep of the family or something. Uh, you know, uh, most of you have heard my story. I went to high school. I finished primary school, went to high school. I was expelled on grounds of mental instability. And I was accused of being a devil worshipper. So my, my, my parents started seeing me like I am the yani I'm just a bad child. So do that I don't sukuru gremone wodo ma. Dale mone wodo ma le gigato. No le wule kira gato mirani gato le. Otri modwa di rekwejira. I had a mental condition. 
teenage hysteria to be specific now it was a mental issue but now mm-hmm. everybody labeled me as the bad child who was taken to school na hadu auji kuthomari agithie maigaga nilienda kujifanya mwenda wazimu it was tough i have shared my story on several platforms it was very tough for me i was expelled from high school and then in the school nilienda uh the the students there they they had had that they got to total the worship bado school ya dadhi tere dadhi ya de school bado mutulire bali murito muno ya was almost expelled actually and so my story goes on like that i went to college and my story in high school was used and somebody in college decided to make my life a living hell and as i narrate my story i don't tiategra ya kuma kum kumirata the saint no diga diga ya kumirata kugate i am the saint and everybody else was a, was a demon no gira ya kugate i was not a good i was not hardened person good people in college schools do crazy stuff people in college school get drunk they do the normal things that teenagers do teenagers and young adults do but now the way you handle the 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 escapades as a gr- grown up affects the the person the teenager either negatively or positively so the person that was supposed to look after me in college had her kodara to do it yet dari mwega people make mistakes shit happens tiate dari mwega muno bono ri mudu ya wehokeirwo ni kodara eta musiari de college re uri akire ri hatu ha kodara na kujoka joka ndiria na kujokia na musiri what he did athire gwakia mwaki so he used to do maudu maya deka tondu you you told it's clear peer pressure is everywhere you find sometimes you find yourself you go somewhere you dance some crazy stuff and it's normal it's very normal now you on a on a hard hard coach ta ada riri kiria kaga a ahura gathi mumucie akajigirira igenyo yeah and that led, led to me being thrown out of home at 20 years i was left to face the world alone very tough indeed just so me yeah the story continues and continues and continues like that up to when now i got married but that is not the reason why i was doing this video kwada kwa yoro arire do you know how kids grow up na mugakoro we ure siria you are one happy family but in the real sense it's all for sure it's a show of pr and i thought i was close to my siblings because i thought i was close to them i loved them i embraced them i treated them like the only family that i have until and i got married actually i got married my sister who was you here is a another cousin of mine so me i thought everybody we are good so i have overcome my demons i have fought my fight i have overcome now i'm i'm a better version of myself i have danced with my with my skeletons i have named all my demons so now i'm good i'm still trying to heal but i never thought that all the things that i had gone through from high school to college coming coming the, the, up to when i got married up to when i up to that time up to 2018 i thought it was my burden they they gan ni murigo wa kwa ni mwene so i never thought that of all people in this world that my family could ever use that against me and so yes 2018 came one of my siblings decided to get married and the lady was introduced to our family they didn't like her i don't know why they had their own reasons but me i am married and my in-laws had every reason to dig into my past and tell their brother not to marry me nani eto do i have a past a dark past and they were using this lady's past to say that he cannot get she cannot get married into my family me i kind of i kept off I could not join that wagon. I could not hate somebody because of their past. I could not cause actually even if she was a whore or whatever they used to say or whatever she used to do even if she had gotten married to so many homes and then my sibling decided now this is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. I don't know what he saw in her. 
I don't know what he loved in her. So I have no business hating the woman that my sibling decides to get married to. Because we all have we all have our past. So I cannot use her past to attack her or define her and now just crucify her on the cross and say this one cannot marry my brother. No. Me I refuse. So at home they didn't like the lady. So you know me Zani Kokwangu. So and they tried to convince me and I was like as as much as they tried to convince me, I'm like, now who doesn't have a past? You should let them get married and make their own mistakes. Because there's one rule in life, Nadu Matimenya Whatever is meant to be will be. That even if your son gets if your son or your brother gets married and for some reason you don't like that 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 lady or that man that is marrying your sister. You should uh, you should know that whatever you was meant to be will be. I can't meant to go to run, you know my go to if at all they were not meant to be no magatigana. But magatigana if they were not meant to be, why would you be the reason why they get separated? Why would you unataka ku ya kwa chana kwa nini? If they were not meant to be, they will still separate. So let them make their own mistakes. Let them learn because sometimes we at time in life you need to make your own mistakes and learn from them. And so me, I was I was on the of the opinion that me and my siblings' marriage, I'm not going to interfere. And so during 2018 December, my my brother brought the sister to my the 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 lover, the would be wife to my home. And now you see, sister, home how I'm talking. They are so much against that marriage. So, I don't know at what point my sibling joined the other wagon of hating on his would-be wife. I don't know how he changed her mind. And then, when the lady came to visit me, I told her a story mob sana za kwetu. As in, ni mudu uramanya maudu mawitu madhe ini muno. Ni ajira ka odo kinya gama ka gali go gai. Mimi yata vitu zungine si jayi ya baba kiyo njure. That's this girl knows so much about our family. Na wamu di kenya nyo reigwa umuri otimu sena yena guo. She knows exactly what she's talking about. Na I felt bad and I had I had decided that I am going to address that when I go home. So I texted my sibling and I asked him what is it I'm hearing? What have you been feeding your way you are fiancé about things home kwetu? So, I I am not sure if I am But now, this way, I know when I am confront about your story, I am not sure if 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 I am not I overturn the tables and everything, every little thing alikuwa meambia uya mchana kuhusu kwetu. Now he turned the story na akasema mimi ila taimu ya mchana mekuja huku kwangu ni memuambia mamboyote ya kwetu. I don't know whether you are getting it. And it was so easy for him because he knows what he had told the lady. So hata kuwa kubadlisha story ya sema ni mimi memuambia already he knows what he had told the lady. Na ito, na ito sinuwa yuna kiri yaki ikimuno, na urumu ikimuno. But sasa, mpaka alikuwa miambia mchichana, adi mimi, mi isi mtu mzuri, atika kodhikiri liya, nye diri modu mwega, ate udato ayo sukuru, gidhiye kuhura umaraya, na gitoro sukuru, badu gidhabete kuti sukuru kuhoya goma. So he had used all my past and told the lady about every bad, every negative thing about my past. But now I think this lady got confused because I think when I interact with Mimi, I think she was a bit confused because now I am being labeled as the bad person in the family, but yet I'm the only person who is supporting her and encouraging her and telling her that that I don't have a problem with him, with her getting married into a home. Kogo, I think how unani ho ahi go keire. Aki onai, onato ondo jira go, hapa, there is something that's not adding up. And so, yeah, that was in 2018. So, 2019, January, 
my mom texted me and told me that I choose I should choose between having her as my mother or supporting this lady to be married into a home and she said that I'll cut her words over my dead body with that lady get married into my family and it hit me because I'm now I'm like okay I am supposed to choose between her being my mother and this lady getting married into a family and I am not the one who introduced her to my family I didn't know her before my brother brought her in so I don't know I didn't understand what exactly I was being blamed for because I I did not bring her into our family I was introduced to her it was my duty to welcome her and show her the love that I should show a sister in law I have no business hating him hating her I have no business digging into her past and using her past again is I don't do that and then I'm one person that I do not inherit enemies and you know I've always said that and I think I think that time it was it came to very clearly like if you hate her you hate her on your own stop recruiting me to hate her because I have no reason for hating her even if she has an ugly past or she has done crazy things in the past that's none of my business that's for her and her husband to sort out and know how they are going to coexist and live as man and wife and that was settled but now along along the way my my sibling the one who was getting married to the lady entered that wagon of hating on her and using her past attacking her making her life difficult and yeah it was hard for her she has she she had ulcers she would get that the the ulcers attack one day she got it she was she alipata hizo ulcers alikiwa kwangu it's like i was it was really depressing so on 2019 sasa na karudi so apparently when she went back to her home aliachwa alitoka kwangu over christmas after christmas on first i think on second january akaachwa akaambiwa now i don't want you in my life because i cannot say i cannot do i, I cannot go against my mother's wish and so she she just left ali took her ego to and yeah so in 2019 after now my mother sent me that text and then i remembered everything that this lady had been told by my sibling that i am the cause of all their family problems that i caused okay my mom is diabetic and now the the my sibling told told his wife that i caused my mother's diabetes because when i were, i was taken to high school i started acting like a crazy person and i started they were worshiping and that is how now i made my mom get diabetes and i'm like and he went on and saying that went on, on and on and telling the lady that everything that they have gone through as a family the bad things that they have been they have been going through the things that they were supposed to ile vitu walikuwa nafaa kufanyiwa na babangu of course babangu is the, is the breadwinner na hawakufanyiwa i am to blame I am to blame for the good life that they were not they were denied because I made my dad angry. And so uh it came flashing and then now my mom has texted me and told me to choose between her being my mother and supporting this lady to get married into a family. Tough. So uh out of anger sometimes you do things out of anger. Me I just texted her and I told her I'm sorry for the things that I have made you go through as a family I didn't know that I was such a an ulcer in the family and if only I knew that this is what I've I've been putting through you through as a family I just wish I just wish I had not been born where and When I was writing that text I was crying my heart out because now I'm like okay now I've been so I thought all along that I was family to these people that d- despite the differences that we might have that we, we are not supposed to seek disagree on something to an extent of being to me being me being told to choose between my family and more so between my mother and I'm like you choose whether you want me to be to remain your mother or you want to support that lady it was a very tough choice so i never thought that to to reach that up, such a point 
So what my mother did, he aliita au wengine mkutano. Si wakasoma message. So I don't know how they interpreted the message. I still don't know how they why they interpreted the message the way they interpreted. That was in 2019 January. My friend, that omagero message ni my sister na my brother. Garumuo nilikuwa natukano wa naambiwa sijui nimetukana mamangu, nime disrespect, sijui uh, the way I've put them through a lot of stuff. I am now uh, I am even the cause of her diabetes and I have no shame saying that I wish I was not born so many stuff and I'm like you are the cause of all our family problems you made bad choices in life you you was just a reformed prostitute so many things imagine my I'm the eldest in my family imagine imagine the pain of your own small brother and your own small sis calling you a prostitute you know and something that i don't think i'll ever recover from that i've recovered from so many things but having my siblings that i saw being born and growing up being bold enough to call me a prostitute that hit it hit differently and yeah they would write long messages telling me that my disappointment to the family i uh, i i should mm-hmm. stop Did you blaming them? I don't know why they were saying that I was blaming them, but I have never blamed anybody for my for my for my troubles. Actually, I was happy that I had overcome my my struggles. I was happy that I was finally reaching a point of healing. But no. So these people we have grown up with them, but they have been harboring hatred against me without my knowledge. So they have been looking at me as the source of all their problems. They have been looking at me as the person that made their life miserable. They have been looking at me as the cause of their mother's diabetes. You know, I don't know what is more painful than that. Because you know diabetes is a, is a lifelong condition. So you can imagine now all my mother's life, like all our lives, like as long as we are going to be alive, I will always be the cause of my mom, my mom's diabetes and nobody can convince them otherwise and uh, Desi, when i sat down and started thinking like my mom got diabetes in 2002 i was in form 2 and in when i was in form 1 1999 my kid brother was only 7 years old so he was 7 years old when i was going through all this this form one struggle this devil worship struggle and the being expelled now he's here at or at 25 and i think 26 years, i don't know yeah above 25 years of age telling me that i caused my mom's diabetes because of the things i did in high school and i asked myself this guy was only 9 years when i was in form one so who told him that i caused my mom's diabetes so uh your guess is as good as mine so that means that all along These two have been groomed to believe that were it not because of me their lives would be better. It's because of me that their lives are the way they are right now. It's because of me that they were denied the things that they deserved to be given well, as as they were growing up. It's because of me that their mother is now diabetic and is on a on a lifelong treatment because of me. Come on, I was only 14. I had no idea what was happening in my parents' lives. I had no idea what they were going through. I was going through my own phase. I was going through my own depression. I was depressed. I was confused. I didn't know what was happening in my life. How do you even blame a 14 year old for the things that have happened in your own family? Who was supposed to care about my mental health? Who was supposed to care about how I felt? Who was supposed to look out for me? Who was supposed to to hold me and told me that everything is going to be okay who who was supposed to do that so i was left on my own i dealt with my demons i dealt with my stress and all along they have been groomed to always look at me as the enemy of the family and i felt really bad cause not once did i ever treat them like they are not part of my family actually i was happy that when i got married they came we stated everything when any time i was called to help i would help with a very clean heart i would go for those family get togethers happy because 
be a family. Whenever I was required to do something for them, I always did with a clean heart. So, shock on me, all along, I am the one who always treated these people like family. But not once, not once did they ever treat me like family. You know, that hits differently. It really hits bad. Like you've been, you love these people, you accept them, yani you've been there for them, do the, the highs and the lows, but no one has ever really been there for you. Instead, they have labeled me as the person responsible for everything that went wrong in their lives. And so, yeah, that was 2019, and I was very heartbroken. In fact, I, I had to switch off my phone. That time I was alone here. My husband has go, had gone to work uh, far away in Garissa, and I was alone at home. I would cry my heart out. I was just here with my son. And I'm like, Unajua, wei lalazi mu, nikuwa naeka simu, iki vibrate. Nikuwa nasikia nini tumbayangu imejaa maji hivi. Because now you are, that's a, a whole page or two of insults and how I'm a disappointment and how I should not even be be a member of their family. I am so many things. They, 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 they would call me a prostitute every day. And so, yeah, 2019, uh, when it was too much, that was in 2019, I just decided to... And you know, the bad thing is I could not run to my mom because I knew it was not okay. Because you see now my mom had told me I should choose between having my mother and supporting this lady that was supposed to get married to my family. So what is happening because my guess was good. They knew, she knew what was happening. They were with her home. While you were at home, there was the gang of those three people against me. So I just decided I'm going to block all these three people. Because I needed my peace. There's no way I can be afraid of picking my phone or using my phone because I'm going to get a message that will ruin my whole day. So when I saw, when I, I realized that it's having their contacts in my phone is it is toxic. So I just blocked them. Yeah, and blocking them now came with its own challenges. My mom could not, could not accept that. You know, you see, some people are complicated. You know, life is very complicated. So, these people are giving a hard time sending me text messages to insult me and call me a prostitute. My mom has told me to choose between her being my mother and uh, supporting the lady. And now, when I finally, I decide now, now I don't want this. It's too toxic for me. And because I have not insulted anyone, I've not done anything wrong. I just supported an, a, a, a lady who was willing to become part of our family but because now she has a dark past she could not be accepted into our family that's the only crime i committed the crime of not inheriting their enemy the crime of not joining them to frustrate this girl to a point when she will just go away so i supported her i became her friend i did not curse her that is the crime that i made so i blocked them that is, I just block them because sometimes blocking is a very good option. Because there is no way you can live in bondage and it's your phone. You bought your phone with your own money. And somebody decides that he is going to use that phone that you bought with your own money to frustrate your life. No, uh, I, I refuse to do that. So I blocked them for the whole of 2019. But bad was also a block. You know, I can let a challenge. So my mom at some point could not I understand why I had to block them. And so now this they, they, somebody dies at home, who who go to my brother in law dies, and then they all come. You know me, I'm not my phone is not reachable. They called my stepdaughter and she told me they are coming. So wakaenda we shall go. Mambolezi mi nikwa kuta wuko. Skube ada si mambolezi waliko amekuja. You know, families are very toxic, sorry to say. And so me, I went, served them, and then they went home. They went on their way. They just went. No matter where you go, what? No matter where you go, they stay. What? That time, twenty nine, twenty nineteen, my son was around three years. He was approaching three and a half years. Now he was not talking. He was just murmuring and 
just alikuwa anasikia kila kitu but wako anaongea alafu akianza kuongea he would say instead of saying asa say no i don't want you see ana mama but he's mumbling in english we when you are talking huko mambolezi so i got a call my daughter was here so they called using her number hey ile msomo nilipewa so i'm like ah watu walikuwa wamekuja mambolezi ama walikuja alikuwa amekuja ku kuangalia how am yani kutafuta reason ya they were looking for a reason to now to continue frustrating me my mom called me and she's like you don't have time for your son you are always on tv on 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 phone you are always watching tv you don't have time for your son at that age he's supposed to be talking he's supposed to be giving stories he's not supposed to be just murmuring and you are there all of you talking what you mnamo aliya githugu nikitha wira kukena kukimura aliya mwana mwana wasio haki dakie ta utakiri mu and i'm like okay eh uh, what is the where is this coming from hmm? and you, you, you don't have time for you so any ali ali she made a, a mountain up out of a just a mole hill and i'm like this is not about my son this is not a, this, this is not about my son not being able to talk there's a grudge because there's no way you can come to my house and start telling me that oh, i don't have time for my son that i spend all the time on on phone i spend all the time online and watching tv that i don't even have time to play for my son just because he cannot he hakuwa anaweza kuongea and you know my son has a condition he has adhd so milestones zake zimekuwa slow So actually he talked at almost four years but he then or mara kama akona no 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 kwa no kukira kire tare alikuwa nasikia kila kitu kimwambia daira gikombe yani kila mtu kwa tuna communicate na akitaka kitu anasema food tea you see because first language yake alichagua kizungu so that one it caused a lot of friction and i'm like okay this call and i received this call complaining on and on and on and on about my son not being able to talk and not me having time for him that i only have time to ngura wana madha ma gutara andu ari angi so makeji da gura gutara andu ari angi if they met this lady that had come to my house cuz i really encouraged her you know that lady was so suicidal she would have committed suicide but i told her you know you cannot just commit suicide because one person has decided doesn't want they want you with their lives maybe you are not even meant to be i really encouraged her and i told her that this life you don't it's, it doesn't mean that you must be married to that but yes you love them but if they don't want you just it will take time but learn how to let go really more encourage sana and i told her that you know life goes on so they were like you ile masabu kwa nayo ni ya kupatia wengine ushauri hata una masaa ya mtoto wako so and you know as a as an intelligent person you come and tell me this call is not even about my son being not being able to talk it has nothing absolutely nothing to do with my son being unable to talk it had everything with this grudge that they developed of me not supporting them to hate this other lady so they were they could not accept that they could not even imagine that i had blocked all of them so this call about my son not being able to talk had nothing to do with my son they were just trying to vent and make me feel like like i don't i don't have a right to do anything i don't have a right to make decisions on my own i don't have a right to choose my own path and so yeah it went like that 2019 now ikaisha mm, i tried because there was an event at home and we found ourselves all together there so i went with a very heavy that from since here time ya huyo msichana kukuja kwangu the insults with the sms i started feeling like i need to start learning how to let go because i had to accept that all along whatever you have been enjoying as a happy family your show of pr the happy family happy family laughing together making jokes it was all fake you know that's a kind of realization that feels like it has any inakata roho you feel your heart is bleeding because 
whatever I felt for them was genuine, but whatever they they tried to portray they felt for me, it was all fake. And it really hurt. I had to accept that this thing that we call happy family thing, it's fake. They are family themselves. They are family, but I have never been family to them. That was the hardest thing for me to accept. You know, sometimes it makes me really sad that, that the people that you've grown up loving and embracing as family would have so much hatred towards you that they don't even pause to think about your well-being, your mental well-being. They just want to cast you off and blame you for everything that they have been through in life. So 2019 just went like that. Family, but uh, up to date, I don't hug anybody. Because it's, it's, it's so Judas. It's so Judas hugging people that have the guts of referring to you as a prostitute and blame, all those things. And now are blaming me because their mother is, they are saying that it's because of me that the mom, their mom is diabetic. So I stopped with the Judas greetings and I started working on myself. I've been doing so much hard work, you know, trying to detach, but with love. Like, yeah, it has been, it's been really hard. But now I thought everything was good. So 2019, Elisha, 2020, still trying to keep my distance. Yeah, keeping my distance, just minimizing the everything. We would go, not in 2020, it was get together for my grandmother, December 2020. So then 20 just, 2020, we were on and off, on and off. 2020, December, we went for a get together for my grandmother. And... You know, Nikiwa Ponje, my son's ADHD, that time to go to share Jum to talk about ADHD. Just a bit, the basics. So I knew my son already had a condition. And that time, ADHD, it was in a midst of Kazasana because he had a problem dealing with other kids. He would beat people a lot, he would fidget, he would, yani he was the hyperactivity, yaka it was Jum Kabisa. Ataki and Buaki too, has key. You see the way I've been dealing with my son. When I go and come out, they are just spoiled brats. And you know, I could hear them. They, 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 they still, they are still on my case. They are still discussing me. Now trying to portray to everybody around them how bad of a mother I am. How I don't know how to take care of my son. And you know that I'm, Usha is scared when I go reset back to factory settings. And you're like, now what am I doing? Why am I even here? Why did I even come for this get together? Because you kitu in my in Haribia mood kabisa. Up to when we went home, I was like, ah, why would anybody feel like they have the right to brand me as a bad mother and they don't have an idea of what I am I, I am dealing with? They don't know how hard I'm trying to contain my son. They don't know how hard I am trying to understand my son because he has a behavioral disorder, but they are there telling everybody how bad of a mother I am, how I don't have time for my son, how I don't discipline my son. And so since 2020 December, I decided, you know, this thing is not working. So I'm not going, I'm not doing this get togethers anymore. And that has, it, that, it ended there. I couldn't, I decided I'm not going for this get togethers anymore. Let me stay home with my son. Let me stay with my sport brat alone at home. Cause now they have diverted. They are now they now want to use my son as a weapon to attack me. And I said that I I am not ready for this. So you know when it comes to my son, that is where I draw the line. You can do so many things to me. You can use so many things against me. But when it comes to my son. That is where I draw the line. I am not going to use to let you use my son to attack me because that's where my heart is. So when you and they know by the way they know, you know narcissists know where your weak point is. They know that my son is the best thing that ever happened to me, 
and they know that we have a very strong bond with my son. So when they use my son against me, she, they want to use him as an example of my failure. They know it will hit me. And so because I didn't want a repeat of this, I decided I'm not doing this get togethers again. So 2021 came, still doing shadow work. You see, so I decided, I, I realized that every time we have this get together thing, something happens that makes me wish I never even showed up for the get togethers. So 2021 came, and yes, I felt that now I have reached a point of healing, I can share my story. So I went to MC's YouTube, I shared my story, sad, happy, bittersweet moments. I shared my story with the MC, but where? When I shared my story, first I, I shared my story on Facebook, then MC saw it and he called me to his channel. And whoever reported that I had shared my story on MC's channel, I had direct with mom and dad at the Drari YouTube, Kumasabia, Oria Maria Sierrioru, Noria Majikita Maudu Moru, and Dradi Takumadu Keria Itoa. And I'm like, I did that. You know, when I had that, I had to, because my mom texted me that time now after Ptoka Kwa MC. You know, we hardly call each other. Hardly. After that, those unfortunate events. And she texted me and told me that at even when we were Missouri, we had a spreadsheet about them. And I'm like, now what shit have I spreaded? Am I spreading about my parents? I never even mentioned them. It's so unfortunate that they never listened to that interview because I never bad, I never painted anybody black. I just shared my journey. I just shared how my life has been, the handles, the the challenges, the challenges of ment dealing with mental health on your own, losing a kid and going through the grief period on you are on my own. The way I was a house girl and I went through all that stuff. The way now I got married, the challenges of being a, a stepmom. And I was trying to understand why they are saying that I went to badmouth them and spread lies about them. And I'm like, it's so unfortunate that Modure Wadri got to you have an intention because I, he, whoever told them knew that they are not going to watch and they he knew that it is going out to be you whoever told them knew that it is going to be used about against me now in a so 2021 october you i went and shared my story on mc's and mc's youtube channel so 2022 january 1st i decide already let me go home and need ni pedeke siguku we when you live in nyumbani then we started talking talking and then it was like like boom now i'm either old at the old tiyo soka go to sabia ke atene ne lo di tell you to but in my cool over media kimado be ya reto it was bad you know we could we did not have a conversation my mom was venting and saying that uh, i am a very ungrateful kid that i have been going around YouTube, in any social media and YouTube saying the bad mouthing and saying bad things about her. And at one point I asked her, did you even listen to that interview? I did not mention anybody's name. I did not say that any that I have had, I have bad parents. Yes, we have had our difference, but not once did I talk about the differences that we have had and painted you as bad parents. And my mom went on and on and she could not, any she could not hear what I was saying because already Alikwa me tengeneza nini script yake. So there was nothing I would say that would make sense. So me just kept quiet. And my mom went on and on and told, told me that I'm a very ungrateful kid. Uh, I have, I am the cause of all their problems. Uh, there's a, at the, because I was taken to school, nikakata kusoma, nikaenda kufanya devo, kujifanya mwenda wazimu high school, and then I came to college and I came to Malaya. And I'm like, but in college, I, I interrupted her. But in college, I came to Malaya. Where? She was like, Kira, you're going to get your job with you. And I was like, I'm going to get your job with you. I'm going to get your job with you. 
sasa we ka mtaja huyo sio dakika ile ile kiganyo ni mtimua na tawe ni mtu mgima and i'm like okay i'm not going to talk again and that time she had a diabetes foot she could not walk i not worried him no na she started on she went on and on akiugaga ona kuguruko kugwa ko gutaigwa ruko gya ndirahota guthie ndirahota gwika atia kana atia ni you are the cause now i'm the cause of the pain that she's feeling in her leg because i caused the diabetes you see everything that my mother said that day confirmed the things that my siblings were telling me through texts back in 2019 you know i sat then decent my mother in validating my pain and wanting to show me that i have no right i have no right was ever to talk about how i feel i have no right to tell anybody about overcoming anything because i am the architect of my own problems that i am such an, an embarrassment to her and the family because now now it's my mother telling me that you caused my diabetes you know i would have ignored and and treated this like he as when my siblings were texting me and telling me all those manner of things but now he is sitting here and listening to my mother repeating each and every word that my siblings had told me through texts in 19 in 2019 it changed everything changed everything like my whole i you know i watched my whole world cram, crumbling right before my eyes and i'm like really so this my siblings were not blabbing they knew what they were talking about they have been brought up they have been groomed to look at me as the cause of their problem my mom even told me that my sister was supposed to be taken to a certain boarding school i don't even know and i'm the cause i'm the reason why she was taken taken to a day school instead of the boarding school that she was supposed to she had been admitted to and i'm like so this is how it has been these people have been looking at me and the all the only thing they see in me is somebody who has been the cause of all their problems that it hit me so hard god i cried that day and i'll never forget first of this the first day of 2022 that day is, is engraved in my heart it's engraved in my brain because it's something that i'm not i don't know i've not quite recovered from listening to my own mother accusing me of being the cause of her diabetes it was very hard it was very painful so she had a diabetic foot And so I decided now this pain she's feeling is making her curse me so much. Although on a guy kind of ekra kidumihinya. That's one thing I always tell people. Gaino ekra kidumihinya. Nda gikira kidumihinya geta na gitumi. So God knows that I am not the cause of that diabetes. So but now the problem is now the family, my siblings and my mom believe I'm the cause of her diabetes. So even if something happened and the, the leg got amputated i would still carry that that that, that it's a tag that has been put around, around my neck something that i cannot shake off because that's that's what they know they got it from the best they learned it from the best so there's no way you, they would they would just wake up and decide that you know the cause no they have been groomed they have grown up knowing all those years since the year 2000 they have grown up knowing that i am the cause of that diabetes and so there's no way in the world i am going to erase that and you know living with that it's hard it's hard in the sense that you know this is a lifelong lifelong condition so it's not going to end and you see now it's forever be that every time they look at me every time they yeah you cannot I mean I cannot change that. So I say that now this diabetes foot I really prayed God to help me solve this diabetes foot problem because it was being used any I decided even if they see me as the cause of the the diabetes I think there's something I can do about this diabetes foot so I researched I asked questions and I was told that I am, I can 
we can, we can do something anaweza kunywa zile inakuwa ni ni care plus tablets zile diabetes food na bone soup so that we were very broke by the way january 2022 we had just paid school fees for the the senior kionjore for kionjore senior is in college so we were broke do you know we, we we took a loan on mshwari me and my husband and that time you see all the time that that time when my mom was going on and on and on ranting my husband was there seated and that guy was shocked you know i've never seen my husband that shocked all his life and I don't know why they did that they she did that in the presence of my husband she the only person who can tell tell us maybe uh, maybe at a madara we kwa hapo ndani but it's okay cuz my husband was like hey, I've never seen such in my life so we I said we talked with him my husband is very understanding and I told him we need to solve this problem that is here with us right now so we decided we are going to buy the the tablets the new care plus tablets we were told that if she takes them for one one or two months the food is going to be healed i really prayed god i just begged god easy dawa please zifanye kazi because i now i really wanted you know i've been doing shadow work for the whole of 2021 but now this this new year thing has has really brought me out again down to my knees and i'm like does it mean that all this shadow work i've been doing for the whole of 2021 is all in vain i said no you know i had decided that i want to detach i want to detach and detach with love hmm? i want to learn how to live any i want to tell to learn how to live with the fact that these people will never accept me i, I and i had managed now and but of e new year i was still on it and i decided you know i really want to love these people from a distance because now it's toxic you know it's too toxic you know listening to your mother telling you those things it really breaks somebody's heart it's really heartbreaking it was painful it was i don't know i still don't know i don't know how to, tell, to talk about it but it was very painful and so i had that right there and then i realized that it's gone it's over like there's nothing i can do to change how they see me and so i decided to treat that diabetes foot i bought the medicines two months took the first dose on january 19th and then february 19th took i took the second dose we took the second dose with my husband so on february 19 when you, when we went home she was okay she was walking she was walking she was all over the place and i thanked god i was so happy that now she won't be feeling pain. at least even if she has been cursing me since 2002 2002 since 2000 at least now the 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 way she's feeling pain and blaming me for the pain it will it i really wanted her back on her feet and so in on february 19 i took her the second dose and yeah she has been okay she was okay and she has been okay so i because if she has not been okay ningekuwa najua but from 20, from february 19 up to date i decided uh i won't do those i i won't i want to stay on my own i want to stay with people who make me happy i want to be with people who are proud to have me um i want to stay with people who appreciate me and people who don't make me feel useless i want to stay with people who bring me joy people that who give me peace of mind and so i've been working on detaching detaching is very painful you know when you want to detach and it when it comes to first family immediate family you want to detach and with love like not see unawach i don't hate them unfortunately they hate me but it's okay but i don't hate them but i cannot erase the picture that they have painted of me being the source of all their problems it is there it has been it ha, it's something that has been yani ni kama it's a graven image it has it nikitu imekuwa it has been stuck in their motherboard that is what they believe in i cannot change that because it has been going on 
they have grown up you know i'm the eldest so they have grown up seeing me as an enemy to the family which i didn't know until 2018 so yeah i've been doing a lot of a lot of work on myself because i want to be happy and i want them to be happy i don't want to interfere with anybody's life i want me to be happy and i want them to be happy not wishing them ill not wishing anything bad on them i just want them to be happy to any we observe lens hakuna kufanyaka lens wenyewe because i already know my place that's why i always tell people know your place in people's lives and stick to your lane that's what i've done i have known my place in their lives and now i'm sticking to my lane you to 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 sikwaruzane so we hardly talk we don't even talk we don't even talk with my bra we don't so we don't talk to me actually to give you status <laughs> unfortunately but i'm happy i'm i'm happy they are happy and i'm happy that i'm i am i've found peace i have found peace i am at a place of peace and i have a very supportive husband that you know sometimes when you go home and your parents are there telling you those things and your husband is there and he's like oh wow baby what kind of a family is this but he never took it yani he actually is the one who told me that you have to start working on getting letting these people go completely like you have to live your life assuming that that they are not yani the way they live like you are not part of them you should start living like they are not part of you yo at least you detach with love So it's been a journey detaching with love living like yeah like that we don't talk but it uh, it it is a po- it's a place of peace that is not hard to get to it's not hard to completely detach from people especially family but it is possible because when you put your peace first and when you know your peop- you are placed in people's lives and you stick to your lane very important so i know my place in their lives and i have stuck to my lane it's been one tough journey but i thank god that i am here now i'm strong and i don't wish anybody bad i don't wish anybody ill things i want them to be happy i want to see them eating just not on the same table as myself yeah i want to see them eating well eating good food happy but just not on the same table as myself and that's it so that's my story and i wa- i wanted to see you to see how sibling they body most of the time in a kwanga it's something that kids grow up it they grow up learning it's something that they learn nikyo wonaga no muture muri arata na na sia na sia nyu na muhimare and your friends there's no you don't notice anything until a time comes and maybe you go broke or you get divorced or something goes wrong in your life or you have a difference of opinion how no rumudu amenyaga who exactly are these people what exactly do they take me for but all along you've been thinking that everything is okay but wait until something goes wrong on your side that's when now you get to know the real colors the true colors of people around you so well, that's my story and i hope you get inspired it's good to learn how to detach you know detaching sounds rude but for me detaching has has would really worked for me because you want to deta- you want your own peace you know i have a family right now there's no way i can continue forcing myself on people who don't want me there are people who want me they who want me in their lives they people who appreciate me they people who will make me happy and give me peace i would rather spend time with people who make me happy than spend time with people who are just faking affection for me okay yeah that's me that's my story now i feel, i hope you feel encouraged that you can do it on a way why why people have their own version of your story it should not stop you from being yourself let them have their own version of your own story but don't give in to their pressure at the, and then when people make you feel bad don't pity yourself when you fail you fall into self pity you start feeling bad and feeling useless that's now when they 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 it yani how ni wa mahotana gira because they want to see you begging they want to see you crying they want to see you sad 
every time tears roll down your your eyes because of them they feel that they have achieved they have conquered so i feel that we should deny people the power to make you feel good feel bad deny people the power to make you feel bad deny people the power to always put you down okay yeah that's it that's how it should be and always spend your time with people that appreciate you for who you are kai wa moyo wa muradhime na muike wega ni gado toda uri na bena go subscribe na go like na go view videos yakwa na go share i'm happy i'm humbled hii na bena ku na go share na go subscribe ni kiria nyoka channel ya nyoka figaza ngai ya muradhime mukimagara mutuganaga na nyoki nyonyoni ya munyaka na riwa ya gai muragire hiko ciothe ni thayo Thank you.